patch concepts including patch file structure, patch formats, code lines and code levels. Although we understood the concept of patch format and code lines, we haven't explored patch file structure and code levels. Okay, so let's start with patch file structure. Let me just take you directly to a patch so that you can understand a little better. So here I've downloaded a couple of patches for demonstration. So if you go and look at a specific patch, a patch file structure will contain individual directories dedicated to each of the modules within Oracle applications. If it's a mega patch, which is what I've described you earlier, a mega patch like uh, a, a consolidated upgrade patch, okay, will contain something like this. So this specific patch is basically for upgrading to release 12.1.3. It's a mega patch, so it contains so many things, so many directories out here for all the modules. But out of all the patches, what's the most important thing is something called as a driver file. A driver file is the one that you use it for applying a patch through add patch utility in Oracle application server. Okay, now let me just show you a driver file. It basically ends with DRB. So if you could see this one at the end, you can find driver file. So when you execute the utility add patch in Oracle application server for applying a specific patch. Apart from asking a couple of server related details, it asks you for this driver file in order to uniquely identify the patch to apply. Okay, so as you would know, it starts with U, okay, and then the patch number, and finally with an extension dot DRV. So that's basically the driver file. So in short, a, p a patch directory will contain uh, all the directories for the modules or applications for the fixes that are going to be applied plus this directory file. Okay, that was a mega patch, but we can also see a couple of smaller patches. For instance, let's explore this patch. This is a separate patch, so it's got a it is comparatively a smaller patch. So as you could see, you won't find so much of directory. Perhaps it's like a family pack. Okay, and here you can see again the driver file here. Okay, so directory driver file. The most important thing out of the patch directory is the readme.txt file. A readme.txt file basically contains the instructions for applying that patch. So if you open that readme.txt, here you can see you know what are the pre-installed tasks, what are the post-installed tasks if there are any. So this seems to be a smaller patch so there are the pre-installed tasks are no nothing and then if you come down there are no post install tasks okay now what we'll do it is i will take you on to the mega patch that i've just shown you a while ago okay for upgrading to release 12.1.3 and let's see the readme file for this patch and i'm sure you will find some prerequisites out there so open this and if you look at this one scroll down look you need to have a required code level this must be there pre-installed task you must apply this patch prior to applying this this mega patch okay then apply the patch and then you've got a couple of post installed tasks so a readme file is nothing but tells you the instructions of applying the patch in other words if there are any uh, pre-installation tasks any post install task or any other finishing task that have to be done for this patch okay now going back yes so that was basically the file structure which is nothing but containing all the directories 
for individual applications containing the fixes then second is the driver file and the third is the readme file okay patch format we have already understood in previous movie the different kind of patch formats that are there we understood what is meant by code lines which are like a b and c designates you know 12.0 12.1 12.2 respectively code level is something that we need to understand now okay so i go here this is something we have already seen previously so i'm not going to go much into the detail of this but this simply depicts the relationship between code line releases and point releases okay now we'll go on to code levels now what's code level a code level basically helps to identify patches for individual products which gets consolidated into product family rup so where is product family rup this is product family rup so if you see individual bug fix if there are taking the same example as i've taken previously if there are 10 bug fixes or 10 patches supplied by oracle support for fixing financial related bugs then all those gets consolidated into a product family pack and if within that financial if say for example if, a, if there is a module called GL that uh, uh, is associated with the product family then the code level will identify using the application code name GL and then use something like this so use um, letters a b and c to ink which which keeps incrementing okay so as an example in this case code level b is nothing but release 12.1 okay oh sorry code line b is nothing but release 12.1 within that for making product family RUP for PO the first product family for purchasing module will get identified with code level PO and then B1 okay now say for instance next month a number of new fixes or new patches are released then that gets identified with an incremental number of the code level okay so code level basically helps to uniquely identify a specific product for which number of patches are associated into a product family so these are just two example I've given another example was like within the same code line you've got a code level for AP okay so the first month a number of patches goes into AP for release 12.1 so first product family release will be identified with the version 1 and the module is AP the second time the same uh, 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 product family release will be identified will be with with an incremental number of two okay now a couple of other notes every subsequent code level will contain fixes from previous code level obviously this is true so what has been fixed previously will be uh, cumulative in nature it will be it will roll roll up to the next level okay the product family RUP will be consolidated into release update packs so that's what I've explained you previously so all the product families so for instance in this case purchasing AP and then if there are other product family packs that's been released all those will be combined and will be pumped into release update pack a release update pack with a short form of RUP will be identified with 1 2 and 3 which are nothing but here what I've explained you as nothing but point releases okay so 12.1.1 would be nothing but in that case RUP1 okay then RUP2 will be 12.1.2 point release and so on okay so that's basically the concept of code level and how it gets fit into this hierarchy okay so it comes one below the point release okay I've, I've made another diagram to make it a little more clear but it's a reverse diagram okay because I wanted to show you you know how it gets accumulated 
until a final consolidated release is released okay so as you could see out here a number of bug fixes or patches for account payables goes into a code level say a code level for release 12.2 or sorry release 12.1 so release 12.1 it will identify with a code of B right a code line of B and then the code level will have the finance as identifying the finance family and then the number one all right same thing holds good for the bucks release for purchasing again it will be release 12.1 and the code code line will be B but the code level in this case changes to the product family specific which is purchasing stands for PO and then the version 1 if a new RUP is released a product family RUP is released then in this case in this particular example what will it be it will be patch number underscore r12 po underscore b dot 2 it will increment rest everything will be same and then this is platform specific all right and then I've explained you uh, previously it will simply follow the same structure as we understood <coughs> so all these you know both the uh, code levels or all the code levels for that particular point release will go into release upgrade pack and that release upgrade pack will be nothing but a new point release here like this 12.1.2 or 12.1.3 okay now pre upgrade after that pre upgrade patch is something like is given or released by Oracle on need by basis and finally all these point releases release update packs will be consolidated into something called as consolidated upgrade patch which is nothing but the new release so in this case it will be 12.2 so that's how the complete structure of patches goes about and that's how the patch naming conventions are derived